Hello and welcome to the audio newsletter of the 13th of September 2023, presented by me, Sarah, and Michele. This newsletter was opened by the Chair's message, in which Paul Fellows discussed the recent industrial relations legislation update. As you may have seen in the media just over a week ago, the Nat Road Board received a personal briefing from the Minister of Employment and Workplace Relations, Tony Burke, about the legislation. Minister Burke addressed concerns with sections of the legislation. The top issue was that owner-operators would be disadvantaged under the new regime, which was the case in the days of the Road Safety Remuneration Tribunal. NatRoad resisted the RSRT because it set pay rates so high that operators were driven to the wall. Minister Burke reassured NatRoad that this won't be the case this time. It does appear that significant safeguards are in place to ensure that changes don't make trucking businesses unviable or uncompetitive. Minimum standards are nothing new in our industry, with many operators covered by state awards that have them in place. NatRoad and the broader industry will have direct input into the design of any changes. With just over a fortnight to go, it's time to make sure you're part of the best value get-together that the industry has to offer. Of course, that's the NatRoad Conf National Conference from 27 to 29 September at the RACB Royal Pines Resort on the Gold Coast. Get along to the NatRoad Conference to expand your professional network, ensure your business stays viable, hear from experts, mix business with a little pleasure and downtime. It kicks off with the pre-conference Bandai Factory Tour in Waco, courtesy of Bridgestone. It's open to all NatRoad members and you'll see the benefits of Bandai retreads firsthand. Senators Tony Sheldon and Glenn Stoll will deliver the political perspective on changes coming for the industry in the, Nat in the conference program. Sal Pritticino, Chief Executive Officer of the National Heavy Vehicle Regulator, will give insights into the progress of law reform and his organization's future. These are just part of an impressive lineup of expert speakers and masterclasses, details of which you can find on the conference page of our website, and there will be ample opportunity to socialize, swap stories with your peers, and just keep back. But places are limited, so don't delay and register with the link in your newsletter or on our website on the conference page. By now, you should have heard about the federal government's proposed new workplace legislation, the Fair Work Legislation Amendment, closing loop polls bill. The parts that directly affect the road transport industry form a small part of a much larger package. The biggest changes as the legislation stands is an expansion of the role of the Fair Work Commission. The new law would give the Fair Work Commission the power to issue an order or a guideline supported by regulations to determine how road transport can operate. A road transport advisory group would also be appointed by the Minister to support the Fair Work Commission in carrying out its functions relating to road transport. Road transport advisory group members would need to be from organisations entitled to represent contractors or businesses in industrial matters. In the industry consultation would need to occur and 24 months notice given before changes take effect. For the full articles, see the news and updates page of our website or the link in your newsletter. The National Heavy Vehicle Regulator has thrown its support behind this year's Rural Road Safety Month, an initiative from the Australian Road Safety Foundation. Rural Road Safety Month is a national community-based initiative aimed at all regional and rural road users and runs throughout September. The theme of this year's event is The Keys to Road Safety Are in All Our Hands. It's worth remembering that rural road crashes account for more than 65% of the Australian road toll and the rate of serious road-related injury in rural areas is nearly twice as high compared to major cities. Resources and ideas on how to promote Rural Safety Month are in our newsletter or in the article on the website. Transport for New South Wales is seeking feedback from the road freight industry about rest stop needs in Western Sydney. It is part of a process of improving the quantity and quality of heavy vehicle rest stops in the, air, in the state. If you have an opinion about potential locations in Western Sydney or what services and amenities are needed, now is the time. Transport for New South Wales also wants to know what services or amenities the road freight industry would be willing to consider paying for. Find the link to our survey in your email newsletter or on the website under the news and update section. Ampol is proud to announce that they've entered into partnership with hydrogen equipment manufacturer and supplier 1H2. 
Inc. to represent the US-based company in the Australian market. 1H2 has over eight years operating experience in designing, manufacturing and deployment of hydrogen refueling equipment. The partnership will allow Ampol to offer a unique and complete hydrogen refueling solution, giving customers the opportunity to trial hydrogen technology and better understand how it can assist their decarbonisation journey through alternate fuel options. Ampol believes hydrogen has a key role to play in reducing emissions across Australia's transport and broader energy sector, in particular the hard-to-abate heavy transport and heavy machinery sectors. Hydrogen is advantageous to customers who value short refueling times and a longer range when compared to current battery electric alternatives. If you're interested in trialing hydrogen for your fleet, please reach out to your Ampol business manager or contact customer sales at ampol.com.au for further details. If you have any questions or queries regarding items discussed in this newsletter, please do not hesitate to contact us at info at natroad.com.au or call 1-800-272-144. We would like to thank Silver Partner Teletrack Namman for sponsoring this newsletter. Until next time.